Hello, my name is Anastasia Aruz and I am a child and family therapist and today's short little video is on money mindset. And the reason I wanted to do this over this time of the year, so during our holiday challenge, is because money is such a big thing we think about during this time of year because we're buying a lot of stuff, we're going to a lot of dinners, we're just spending a lot of it. And I thought also because we're getting ready to start a new year, it would be fun to talk about as we start the new year to maybe think about how you can change your money mindset if it's something that you feel like needs to be changed. So it is something that I'm working on a lot because my mindset is like all over the place when it comes to money. Um, and as we get into it, you'll kind of get what I'm talking about. Um, and another reason I think it's important to talk about, even though I'm a child and family therapist, is because the way we are will impact how our kids deal with money. And I think it's such an important, powerful thing that isn't talked about a lot, right? And if we can teach our kids to have the right money mindset, they'll, be, they'll have more money, right? And they'll be able to do more with it. And I think that's the goal. And it's not to be greedy or to want all this money, but if you think of the big picture, the more money that you have, the more you can help people, the more you can do for others. And I think that's my goal with it is to be able to do that. So let me go ahead and start. And like I do, I like to show my screen, share my screen, because um, I don't forget what I wanna talk about. <laughs> so let's see if I can do that, share screen. Alrighty. So how do you think about money? Is this something you've ever thought about? Is it something you talk about in your family? Is it something you don't talk about in your family? Um, I've definitely started talking about it more in a different way than I used to. And so let's go ahead. So what is money mindset? So money mindset is basically a unique set of beliefs that you have about money. Um, it usually comes from your family. It's taught to you in an indirect way. It's how your family talks about it, which then gives you the beliefs that you have about it. And why is it important? Because it drives the decisions that you make about money. It drives how you spend money. It drives how you save money. So how you think about it, like your mindset about it determines everything you think about money how it's coming in your life, how it's leaving your life, how you have none of it, how you have a lot of it. And as I've learned more about this, this past year, I have learned how poor my money mindset is. And so I wanted to really talk about this topic because I want all of us to learn how we can change it because I think it's so important because I don't think we talk about it enough. So we, if you have limitations, like I do, <laughs> these are some of the limitations that you can have. And I feel like I'm missing Maybe not. Okay, so the limitations basically, you can think of it in different ways. It's basically how you're thinking. Are you thinking it as a, as a fear and anxiety with money or is it solving the problem? So what I mean by that is you've rent or your house payment. So when you know that's due every month, is it coming from a thought in your brain of like, oh my God, I've got to have this rent money for the month. I hope I have it, I'm really stressed out about it. Or is it like, I know rent is coming, but I'll have it because I have a job and I'm gonna use my paycheck to pay for the rent. So where is it coming in your mind? Think about how you process that. Do you think about money and scarcity versus abundance? Are you always thinking I don't have enough money or are you thinking of it as I have so much money, it's just coming, coming, coming to me. So how are your thoughts in your head about money? Is it always in this scarcity? Like you're always trying to get more money and it's hard for you to come by it. So what are your thoughts on it? And then do you have a rich versus wealth mindset? And what I mean by that is, here's an example. So the rich mindset would be like, I'm planning this huge trip to Disney and we're going this summer and it's going to be a week and we're spending like $10,000 and it's going to be great. Versus the wealth mindset would be like, oh, we're going to buy this house down in Orlando and we're going to use it as um, a place where people can go and stay. So we're going to use it for us too. Like we're going to go down once a year, stay, and then the rest of the time we're going to rent it out and we're going to use that money to save. So that's the wealth mindset. It's a different type. It's completely different. It's about building it through other sources of income. So what is your mindset? What are your unconscious thoughts and beliefs about how money works for you and your family? And if it's something you've never thought about before, this is probably like completely out there for you. Um, but I wanted you to start thinking about it. So this isn't going to be super long. It's just for you to kind of get a taste to start thinking about what is your money mindset. So my goal for you is to create a awareness about of, around money. I can't talk. What are your thoughts and how do you behave around it? Are you constantly scrimping and saving 
and being like, you're at the mall and you're looking, should I buy this shirt because it's $10? Should I buy this one because it's $15? Like, how are you thinking about it? How do you behave around it? Do you buy impulsively and not think about what you have in the bank? Or do you just save, save, save because you're worried that the world is gonna end and you're gonna need all this money? Like, what are your thoughts and how do you behave around it? I think it's just um, something to start thinking about. So five things to start with in changing your mindset. Express gratitude, that's the first one. So anytime anything comes into your life that is of value, express gratitude. You could say it to God, the universe, the person that gave it to you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm so happy I got this paycheck. Thank you for bringing that into my life. Yeah, you worked for it, but you still got it, right? You still have all this money now that you can use for whatever it is that you need or want. Or if somebody gives you a gift, thank you so much. Another thing of value has come into my life. So really thinking about the gratitude. I was watching one of the podcasts or things I listened to and someone was talking about when you find like a penny on the street or a quarter on the street and how every time that they see that, that they express gratitude, like, oh, I found a quarter. Thank you universe for bringing me this quarter. So anytime that happens, if you find $5, $10, whatever it is, or find um, money in your pocket in your pants from laundry. So anytime that happens, just express gratitude and say, thank you. That will help. Be purposeful in your thoughts. As you notice your thoughts, when you're thinking about money, switch it from the positive or from the negative to the positive. Constantly be thinking about what are your thoughts telling you and how your belief is about money. Educate yourself about money. What I mean by that is start learning about money, right? Investing, um, real estate, just understanding money, learning how to save. You might have to read some books or listen to some audiobooks or something to help you educate yourself about how to spend money, how to earn money. Because if you didn't learn as a child or in your family, you probably don't know much now. So it's something that you can do as you're driving or just in your free time, looking at your money, paying attention to what you have. So if you have a ton of credit card debt or you have, um, issues with keeping your bank account and not bouncing checks, keep like a log of all your expenses. Keep a log of what's coming in, what's going out. Keep it organized. Don't ignore what's there because that is not gonna help you with changing your mindset. And you're in control. That's the big thing too, is knowing you're in control. No one else is, you're the person in control. You can have as much or as little money as you need. And so I think that is one of the biggest beliefs is well, knowing that you're in control. It's not about anybody else, but yourself and that you can control what money you have. So another big thing I believe in is manifesting. And so I believe that whatever you think, it will come to you. And that's happened to me many, many times in my life. Um, and I believe it for this too, right? Like if I think, if you think about it, if there's something you really, really needed, especially when it comes to money, usually you can make it happen, right? And that can happen all the time. I just think we all get so stressed out about it and we start, putting all those negative beliefs. We don't let it happen all the time, but it can. And so I really want us all to get to that place of how we can make it happen. And I think for me, as I change my beliefs, I think about it and how I want more money and I want abundance and money. And it's not about like buying more things or going more places. It's more just about helping people. Cause I know if I had more money, I could do more, right? I could do more for education, more for, um, programs for kids. And that is really my goal is to help more people. So um, that's how I got into all this anyway. So believe it, it will happen. And finally, I have some books that I've listed. So over this past year, I've been reading a lot, trying to learn just more to do self-improvement. And these are a couple that I've read and I'll, I'm going to read them in case you're listening to this in the car. So the first one is called, you are a badass, how to stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life. And that's by Jen Sincero. She also has some book, another book just specifically on making money, but this is her first one and it's amazing and it's a great book and it's funny and it's really good and very light. And it's a great way to start kind of thinking about money mindset. The next one is called We Should All Be Millionaires by Rachel Rogers. And she is awesome too. This is a great one. This was like an eye opener to me and I'm like, oh my God, we should all be millionaires. Why are we not? Um, it does take work and not the kind of work you're thinking of, but it takes work on how we think about stuff and how we're spending, giving, all that. So that's another great one. Believe It by Jamie Kern Lima. And that's supposed to say it, not I. And she created a makeup line. Um, I can't think of what it's called. It's called It Cosmetics. That's what it is. And it's just about her story and about her beliefs and her mindset and how she got to where she is. And that's a great story because she started like with home shopping and 
to what she is now. It's like amazing. That's a great one. The other one is Rebecca Minkoff and it's called Fearless. She's a designer and it's her story of another one about mindset and believing in what you want. And those are a few of what I've read this year. I've not read all, I've read more, um, but I just wanted to give you a couple. So if you have any questions, let me know. Remember, we're teaching our kids all of these beliefs that we have. So um, this is another one of them, our money mindset. And I'll probably do more on this later, but I just wanted to do something short on this for the holiday season. All right, I hope you guys have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.